Uh, yeah, well, thank you. I, um, I think it's useful to look at where we were before today, which is we were looking at a recovery trade here, which um, we've seen the stock, as you mentioned, it was up, it's been up 20% recently. It went up 20% approximately in the first two weeks in November when we had high efficacy vaccines um, demonstrated. Uh, and that w- we thought was very appropriate. It was a surprise. It went up another 10% on the max, but we thought that news was basically, should have all been known. Uh, we think the max is a good airplane. We think it's going to be back, be competitive. And um, you know, we look forward to delivery ramp on that. So that was fine. Um, and there were some new orders, but those were also known. So it gave back that 10%, and that's where that 20% came from. But this recovery is not like um, recoveries in other areas because there's you can't just flip a switch like you could potentially in some travel related sectors. It's going to take some time, and that's why before we did the downgrade today, we felt Boeing was fairly priced. What changed for us has been the situation with the 787. Um, back in August, eight airplanes were grounded, and not and Boeing did this. There was no safety of flight issue but it had to do with nonconformities in the structure of the fuselage. When Boeing reported uh, in Q3, Boeing said, well, Q4 will be a big quarter for deliveries of the 787 because we've been holding these deliveries back as we've been inspecting these airplanes. But what's happened is it's not going to be a big quarter. They delivered four in October. They delivered um, none in November. And it looks to us like we can identify one they delivered in December. So Mm -hmm. the fact is the problems appear to us to have gotten more extensive um, related to the structure. And there are more areas where there are nonconformities, and these are going to have to be addressed. And now we're at a point where some of those airplanes that were to be delivered um, in the summer, as -hmm. we understand it, some may be delayed uh, more than 12 or even 15 months. Mm -hmm. Once you do all of that, you set yourself up for a, very significant cash issue over the next 15 months. Mm -hmm. And it's a cash issue that Boeing seems to have been very concerned about, even though they had quite a bit of cash on their balance sheet, more than 27 billion at the end of Q3. So it's really been this cash hit related to the 787 that took us from a situation where the price was fairly valuing Boeing to one where we think the market doesn't fully appreciate it, the new issue. So, Peter, I want to get, get you in on this conversation and, and the opposing view sure. of why, after a, what, one more than 125 percent rally off those March lows, Boeing deserves, in your view, to go higher. Yeah, well, I appreciate you for, uh, you know, fitting me in here, Sarah, on that. I, I think the, you know, J- D- Doug, I think, recognizes that there was a lot of value here uh, that was, you know, pulled off the table when Boeing um, you know, we saw the, the, the max grounded. But, you know, you got to remember, the max is 70 percent of the delivery volume at Boeing. So it is a big deal to get that to come back. Uh, We do expect that that is gonna continue to ramp up pretty materially as we uh, exit 2021. Uh, I do recognize there are a lot of inspection activity going on at 787, but uh, we we feel very confident that the the vaccines as they roll out, that air travel will continue to snap back. We're expecting air travel from the leisure side to be back to 60% of 2019 levels. In 2021, business travel will still lag, but again, it'll be a phased recovery, 2021 and then 2022. Uh, we've modeled no wide body recovery uh, in our 787 forecast or 777 forecast. Uh, we do recognize the cash flow uh, dynamics that are in play here. Look, Boeing had an enterprise value of over 250 billion at its peak today. Um, that number is down close to 45 percent. So uh, the free cash flow outlook is down by 50 percent. So we think. The stock is in around where levels where it maybe should be, but we think it's going to get better as we move forward, as the good news continues to ramp up on the max delivery. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.